Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular here, if you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Tash, I'm a fourth year medical student who has had her fair share of mental health illnesses, let's just say. So in today's video, I wanted to make this short, snappy and sweet. I just wanted to talk about my experience of taking an antidepressant. I am really, really pleased to see Dr. Alex's campaign about posting your pill. I think that's great. And yeah, that inspired me to kind of sit down and make this video chat about antidepressants because I don't think enough people are talking about them. So just to catch you up on my mental health struggles i don't like calling it a journey i don't know that just sounds a bit cliche but basically when i was a teen i had anorexia nervosa because of various things i was able to get better with the support just of my gp and loved ones then in 2018 slash 2019 i developed depression and generalized anxiety disorder so i was very very hesitant to go and speak to my gp it probably took me about 12 months to do so i had gone through the counselling route through university first but it took me a long time a lot of sacrifices putting my relationship my new and good relationship on the line putting a lot of friendships my relationships with family members on the line and doing so and i finally realized that i really needed professional help so i realized that i really needed to go and speak to my gp so when i got there they they did a scoring system to work out how depressed and anxious i was which scored me on the moderate to severe scale this was back in september 2019 and they suggested a course of cbt and antidepressants i metaphorically <laughs> but metaphorically ran out of the room i literally wanted to run out of the room at that stage i was like antidepressants absolutely not no way i'm a medical student i can get better i'm not going to rely on these happy pills which are going to make me addicted to them for life which are going to like fakely make me happy I was so against them. So I went away and about two months later, I actually called the GP or the GP called me because they were regularly checking up with me because I was quite unwell and you know, they were quite worried. Um, uh, and I literally was like in tears basically on the phone being like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't do this anymore. It was so painful, so difficult. My parents were really anti-antidepressants um, because of the stigma, um, but that doctor was really good and i decided to start taking antidepressant a very low dose of an ssri and i did notice a difference pretty much immediately which is probably placebo because it probably takes a few weeks for them to start you know start um affecting your levels of serotonin um etc etc um so yeah, I, I felt really good. So that was sort of October, November 2019. I celebrated my 21st birthday in Bruges in Belgium with my boyfriend at the end of the year. And then January hit and I took a real turn for the worst, probably the worst I've ever been in terms of like suicidal thoughts. Um, managed to get help from an amazing charity called The Listening Place who listen and support people to uh, listen and support people with suicidal thoughts. Um, I also increased the dose of the um, SSRI that I was taking, the antidepressant that I was taking and probably over a period of seven months, seven to eight months started to get better which was amazing and I guess the thing about an antidepressant which I explain to people is that it gives you the strength to get out of bed and to do all of the other things that we know are going to make you better and going to help you recover from depression. It is not a quick fix. It is not take this pill, feel happy, give up with all the other things. It is hard work getting better from depression as everyone will know. It is not a case of taking antidepressant and there you go. But it is the, it helps you get out of bed it helps you to do all of the other things. It helps you to just, just to carry on with all the other things you need to be doing. It, it is just life saving basically. But it's not the only thing. I really believe it ha taking antidepressant in combination with other things. 
Um, so I started to get better. I was feeling really good end of 2020, um, but I stayed on the antidepressants for another year. So I only started to stop taking them in September 2021, and this was due to other health reasons. Had I not had those other health reasons, which maybe the antidepressant was making worse, um, it was a cardiac thing, then I would have definitely still be on them because I was so lucky. I was really lucky, and I want to say this, that the first antidepressant I took helped. Yeah, but I just want to say that that is not the case for so many people, and that is 100% fine and normal. It may take you a while to find the antidepressant that works for you, but keep at it. I know it must be so much more difficult than my experience, but keep at it. I'm sure there will be something that helps you find that thing that enables you to get out of bed. And I was also really lucky because my side effects were very minimal. I had a few like gastro -y problems, like developed like tummy pain a bit more. Um, and the biggest one for me was losing my libido, like my sexual drive, which obviously was difficult in terms of my relationship, but wasn't the be all and end all. And obviously my partner completely understood that my mental health and getting better was more important than our sexual relationship, which was really weird talking about this on YouTube, but hey ho, there you go. Um, there are, there's nothing that I won't talk about on YouTube, as you will find out. But yeah, I was really lucky for that reason that I was literally a tiny pill that I took in in the evening I think with my contraceptive pill and that was it like there was no disadvantage of, of not taking it apart from when I had this cardiac thing where the cardiologist said if I could if I felt that I didn't need it in terms of my mental health that could be something that we tried to, to stop but if I needed it then obviously we could try other things as well so it wasn't like a, you need to come off of it kind of thing but it was just because I was feeling better so yeah, and end of 2021, so I've been off the antidepressants for three, four months now. I stopped taking them in collaboration with like with talking to my GP to like um, wean the dose and over time, like it wasn't something that happened overnight. But I think it's really important to share that side of it because it's so, you do not need to take antidepressants all of your life. If you do, then so what? But you don't, it's not something that you're gonna take and necessarily have to take for the rest of your life. Like a lot of people make it out to be, it's just like a physical health thing where if the physical health thing gets better, then you can stop taking it. But if it doesn't, then you take it and for the for a few more years or for longer and so what? <laughs> it's making you better. Um, so it's just not a big thing. <laughs> I know it can feel like it, but it's just not. And you know, if you, you can try it for a month, if it doesn't help at all, then stop taking it. I don't want to, you know, dim, like minimize or like, I, I had a lot of stigma about antidepressants before I, t I started taking them, which I want to really get the message out there. But I hope by listening to me that you realize that like antidepressants are one of the reasons why I'm still here and why I am, living a really healthy and happy life now and they may not work for everyone you may hear like some stories or whatever but I just want to share my experience and you know everybody is so different everyone will have different experiences even on the same drug even on the same dose but from speaking to friends who are also on antidepressants I know that they have just helped them so much and the general message from me is that I wish that I had seeked help from my GP sooner. I wish that I had got the medication and therapy that I deserved <laughs> as soon as I started becoming ill. So just consider antidepressants if that is what your doctor is recommending. Um, and yeah, I, if you have any questions at all about antidepressants, then please feel free to pop them in the comments. I am speaking from my personal experience, um, this is not medical advice whatsoever, it's just how I found taking an antidepressant and I hope by speaking openly about it, it busts some myths, it breaks some of the stigma, not all of it I know, but it is one step in the journey to getting rid of the stigma associated with antidepressants because it's no different to metformin that people take for diabetes, to antihypertensives, to so many other illnesses so yeah ran over i could speak about this forever <laughs> but thank you for watching thank you for listening and i will see you all next time bye everybody